Hi, and thanks for joining me for another resume tip where we keep it short, simple, and specific, or KISS for short. In this video, I will show you how to include a resume headline or title in your resume. I will also show you some examples. Think of a resume headline like the headline of a news article. Its main purpose is to attract the reader's attention. And similarly, the purpose of your resume headline is to attract the attention of the recruiter or the hiring manager or whoever is reading your resume. There are two other reasons why it's a good idea to include a resume headline in your resume. One is that you can show that there is a fit between your skills and qualifications and the needs of the employer. And how do you do that? Well, that brings me to the second reason. And that is when you use keywords or important words that appear in the job advertisement and you use them in your resume headline, you increase the chances that an ATS or applicant tracking system software will detect those keywords which in your headline appear right at the top of your resume and increase your chances of having your resume read by an actual human. So let's get to it so that I can show you how to include these things in your resume. Although optional, if you do decide to include one, you should place your resume headline right after your header, which contains your name and contact information, but before your profile summary or objective statement, if you do decide to include this section in your resume. In this case, the person wrote project management, design, and testing. Notice that these are not job titles, they're simply characteristics or skills or areas of focus. What is important about them is that they are keywords directly related to the type of job this person wants to be doing, which is software engineering. Now, a resume headline can be written for any type of person. There is no one right way to create a resume headline. An experienced professional can have one, somebody who just graduated from high school, college, or university, or even if the person has not yet graduated, as in this case. This person is studying in the Bachelor of Software Engineering program, but has not graduated. And we know that because of this word here, candidate. This means the graduation is coming up. The person also decided to include a short phrase, expert in quality testing and optimization. What's important about all of these words is that they are keywords. They are directly related to the type of job the person wants to be doing. And if you're applying to a job advertisement, you can read the job advertisement and select words directly from it to include in your headline. And this has a great advantage because it increases the chances that an applicant tracking system will scan your resume and flag it so that a recruiter or hiring manager will read it. And then when a human is looking at it, the resume headline will grab that person's attention and hopefully persuade them to keep reading the rest of your resume in more detail. So this is one example of how to write a resume headline. Let's take a look at another one. In this example, you can see that the headline is shorter than the previous example. And also, the person wrote the actual job title, Customer Service Specialist. In addition, they included three characteristics that are important to this type of job. For example, being patient, organized, and polite are important characteristics of a customer service specialist. Let's take a look at a third example. In this resume headline, 
the person also started by writing the actual job title, in this case, operations manager. But instead of writing um, the type of degree that the person has or listing two or three skills or characteristics, here the person wrote a phrase or sentence. And it reads, creating performance improvements resulting in reduced costs and increased profits. This is a good idea if you decide not to include a profile summary statement. So if you include a sentence in your resume headline, it's probably a good idea to leave out the profile summary because you don't want to be repeating yourself. Going back to the phrase here, it contains important key phrases as well. For example, performance improvements, reduce costs and increased profits are important key phrases that match the job of an operations manager. And like I said at the beginning, there is no one right way to write a resume headline. But you should make sure that you include important keywords in it so that it's beneficial not just for the applicant tracking system, but also for the human reader. I hope this tip was useful for you and as always, if you have any comments or questions, please make sure to include them in the comments section below this video. And if you'd like me to create a customized resume review video just for you, please visit the link that I've included in the description of this video to find out more.